anybody's interested in it, they want to uh, grab it, uh, make me an offer. He's riding a scooter down the road, all he had was underwear on. Thought I'd do some filming here in case this is the last time we're alive. So I'm getting ready, finally quit raining. Getting ready to get the bus to go to Oshkosh for the week. So I'm filling it up with water. Um, I only filled it three quarters full. And uh, we probably went maybe half tank, maybe a little bit less, but we really didn't use it that much. But I had the bikes on the back of the bus. So now I gotta take all the bikes off the bike rack and then take the bike rack bike rack on the truck and then put the hitch thing back in here to get that ready and uh, get the water in it and I got to check the air on the front tires um, I told them 110 I think they're supposed to be 120 so I got to get that aired up as well but trying to get ready my brother's not going to be here till like 11 o'clock so I don't know if I'm going to leave tonight or like four in the morning just want to beat Chicago traffic, but I don't know if that's possible. Well, I got water in it. I put a 119 in the front, 100 and then 90 in those. The uh, truck tires are good. Filled it up with water. Um, got it ready to go. It started raining again. I am completely drenched. It's probably close to 100% humidity. I mean, it's raining right now. Oh, I'm just so hot. Brother's gonna be here at 9.30, so I think we're gonna try to get get going. But the uh, bikes are back there. The hitch on the coach. <clears throat> it's back here and that's back there, so about ready to go. I feel like I need to go get a nap. Well, I turned on my generator. I haven't run it for a while. It's just so stinking hot out here. It's like 90% humidity, 85 degrees, which doesn't seem that hot, but 90, it's, it's terrible. But I um, wanted to run the air conditioner, and so I thought probably better to cycle the generator, because I never, I don't almost need it anymore. And this little grill, this weekend when I was using it, uh, it got real dirty in there, I guess, and it caught on fire. I'm glad I, I took it off of here, um, but it's got like all this, like the uh, pellet dust everywhere. So I'm gonna sweep it up. So I brought an extension cord. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna use it on there anymore. I mean, you can, but it just makes a mess. If, you're, if you do woodworking, it's almost like uh, using a table saw or woodworking equipment. It's just kind of like fine sawdust goes everywhere. So I spent a couple hours cleaning everything up. Um, now I just got to clean it up, but I thought I'd run the uh, generator. Um, I left the uh, inverters on, just running everything, but everything works well. There, got her all cleaned up. Looks a ton better. Probably can't tell on the camera. I like having that bay open, nothing in it. Makes it nice. There's too much going on in there to have a TV in there. Everything in here fits just perfect. And if you haven't seen it before, you can pull this, uh, pull that TV out and do anything you want. And then you can access the fridge and freezer. And then uh, you can use the grill if you want to which I'm not going to anymore. But hopefully she's nice and cool inside. Come in here and see what, uh, see what's going on. Oh yeah, it's a lot better. Almost died in here. I didn't almost die, but see what's going on. Beepers, got 7,000 watts hitting the, uh, generator oh there we go see if you can see it 
So I got 96% of the batteries. Uh, it's on bulk charge. So there's a lot of charge going to there. But uh, 7,000 watt uh, to the generator. Um, 1,400 watts going to the battery. 3,700 watts is the uh, air conditioners. So front and back and refrigerator. <coughs> the uh, generator, that's pretty good. So you're putting out 120, 121 volts, uh, what, 28 amps a leg. Um, battery's charging up, that's the number on the top right. Yeah, open this up. So uh, this is the house. House battery at 13.6. 14 is the generator. And then my uh, start batteries are 25. So everything's doing good. Got nice cold air coming in here. <sighs> it's a lot better. Get it ready for our trip. No reason to drive five hours and have it hot especially if I need to cycle the generator. So that's it for now. Um, probably uh, hit you up when my brother gets here. He said 9.30, so that's probably 10.30 Hunley time, but we'll see. Well, we stopped and got some gas. I got 50 gallon here just south of uh, Chicago. We're gonna see if we can get south of Madison tonight. So not too bad. So we'll get her fired up and get down the road. Well, we got just south of Oshkosh, I think about 30 minutes. And so we pulled in at this uh, rest area and took a rest. It's cold, it's like what is it? What temperature is it? 50? 56 degrees. So we had the windows and the vents open. Had to end up shutting the windows because it was cold. But it's nice morning. Um, making some coffee. I just took a shower. Uh, batteries are at 97%. Uh, so probably get on the road here in about two minutes. Well, we got pulled into camp and set up. Right now it's pretty nice out. My inverters didn't flick on for power, and so I put it in bypass. I think it's because the voltage is like 123, 124, and I think I had the inverters uh, not turn on if it was that high, so I might reprogram it um, and see. But we got a spot out here. It's not too bad. Thought it might lose it, but we're able to Polar in here, get set up. So I think we'll uh, drove until three in the morning. Kind of tired. I might take a break, and then we'll get out of here. Go watch some airplanes.
this is Camp Scholler. We are in P380, tucked in over there. It's pretty nice. And then the ultralights, they just fly overhead. Well, we came back after the air show. Got airplanes flying overhead. Got the grill going, fridge going. Gonna cook us some dinner here. Pretty good night. Yeah. Pretty cool. Sitting here grilling steaks and have airplanes flying right over our heads. Ultralights, but airplanes. Well, woke up uh, Tuesday morning, decided to have some eggs. First time using the electric griddle, works real good. Um, use gas at home, so just trying to figure out how to do it, but cleaned it up, worked real good. Having some eggs and coffee and banana bread. and Kind of go out and see the uh, ultralights fly overhead in just a minute. But the uh, vent is ducted outside, which is nice. I guess I shouldn't have doubted it for pre though. No smell in here, so it works pretty good. So we're here at Oshkosh and I had to drop this pretty low uh, to level us out, but we've used this for two days and uh, I had it about an inch from the top. So we barely used any water. We've been trying to be conservative and I think probably last all week like that. been pretty nice under the canopy and sit back here and uh, watch the ultralights fly overhead and around it's pretty nice I think we're gonna get out and go do the uh, ultralights and more birds and there's some big jets come in uh, last night I don't remember the names of them but we'll figure it out soon enough
feel that. Well, here's Thursday morning, uh, cooking some eggs on the griddle. Haven't used it very much, but got the vent fan on, uh, TV on, kind of taking a break today from the sun. Just got burn up, but coach is doing pretty good. Well, it's uh, Thursday, I think. I'm kind of losing track of time. I think we filled up the black tank and kind of taking an easy day today from the sun and kind of chilling out. It's been windy enough. It's like gusts up to 25 mile an hour. I had to turn that light out. Uh, so I pulled the canopy back in quite a bit. Uh, these have been here, but. I think my black tank's full, so I got somebody coming to dump it tomorrow. It's $45, and uh, they'll come dump the gray and the black. My water level's half, so in my little person inside said the black tank's full, but I can't see it. Like I looked at on the edges in here, I'll show you. I can't tell if it's full or not. So my tank, it's my water tank, she's about half, but these tanks, I can't tell if they're full or not, so I'm just going to go ahead and play it safe. So, been good so far, thought I'd show you, so this is what you get for $1,200 out here in the middle of nowhere. 50,000 people out here. There's another Prevo over there. But that's what it looks like. So we pay, all these people here paid at least $1,200 for their camping spot. And it's, the air show's probably a mile that way, no kidding. The furthest tree line back. So it's crazy. Well guys, it's 5.30 in the morning. Finally got up. It's my favorite time of the day. Actually, probably about 30 minutes before this is favorite part, just when the sun comes up and starts to light the atmosphere. It's a name for it. I think it's Civil Twilight or, or uh, I don't know what it's called. It's got a name for it, but it's 58 degrees. <laughs> so it is not a cloud in the sky. The sun's just coming up. Shoot. Let's build my coffee. The sun's coming up and it's absolutely beautiful out. Some cars in the Highway 41 in the background, but that's about it. So it's, it's always nice to get up before everybody else does. Mad Max happens, that's what some of the people who called it, but I think it's pretty odd. There's tons of people everywhere and the electric sites are clear in the back. 1.85 miles from the ultralights. So this is the road that we're on. We're on the very back of it. All of these are electric sites. So all these people paid at least twelve hundred dollars for, and we are one mile from the ultralight. Kind of crazy.
Heading over to the ultralight area, we found they have twilight shows and they're almost better than the night show that they do at Oshkosh. morning it's Saturday morning at I don't even know what time it is 6 30 got up at five at five and watched the sun come up back to bed got coffee made and I think we're gonna start loading up to get out of here seen about everything there is to see two or three times but Everything's got a layer of dust and dirt on it. Pretty out here. It's calm and quiet at six o'clock. I gotta go get all of our bags and chairs at our neighbors and little electric scooter. Got the tank dumped yesterday. So we're good on water and check the tires air pressure and oil and I'm gonna get the bikes loaded up get these mats loaded up and the chairs and all the awnings back in I think we're gonna stop get some gas somewhere between Milwaukee and here I think it's like 430 a gallon so try to figure that out it's been been real nice so far coach has done done well well we loaded up and we're running out of camp shoulder going nine trying not to hit anybody got to run down here and then uh, find a place to hook up the truck so I'm afraid I can't make the corners I can make the corners. I'm just afraid I can't make the corners with all these people and cars. Well, we got on to 41 South. Now I'm behind a semi going 55. Uh, nice to be going home. It was a good trip though. Feels like it's 90 degrees outside for some reason. Uh, fun trip. Coach did good, knock on wood. So far we got uh, 292 more miles to go. I'm gonna stop somewhere 
north of uh, Milwaukee. I think they have fuel for like 4.30. I'll put a show how much it is up here in the screen. So that'll probably be where we pick it up next. Well, there was some traffic on 41, so we got rerouted into Fond du Lac. Thought I'd do some filming here in case this is the last time we're alive. I don't know what it is. It's, uh, it's been interesting. We found a guy who's riding a scooter down the road. All he had was underwear on. So, uh, I don't know. As long as they keep to themselves, we're okay. There's some entrepreneurs out here in all the uh, rerouted traffic selling Gatorade out of uh, coolers. But the, uh, the tops were open. So, I don't know. So we'll, hopefully we'll make it through here. So I stopped at the TA Petro, getting diesel for 4.36. And it says, uh, I think it's like five, 5.19. I'll throw something up here. It's 4.36. So it's a good number off. I think I'm only gonna get like 70 gallons because it's coming down. I don't know, it's like the stock market. I always tend to buy high and burn it high, but I don't know, we'll see. Had to, made it through uh, Fond du Lac, so survived that. Um, trying to get the windows washed. It's freaking filthy. The bus is gonna take like a month to clean, but going all right. Well, we've only got an hour and a half left through Chicago here. I got 10 miles left of it, but Chicago never disappoints. It is, this is a mess. I think they could make 15 lanes of traffic and then still be backed up somehow, or they do road construction on it, but almost there. Well, we're almost home. We're on 231 coming south. Brother's driving. So we'll run around here a minute. Give you a view. View out that window. It's kind of a picturesque, I guess. There's some windmills back there. There are more windmills up here. I think there's five spinning today, so not very many. But coach has done pretty good. It's not too noisy yet. 55 or whatever we're at. So we're almost home. Wasn't too bad a drive except for uh, Fond du Lac. Didn't know if we were gonna make it through there and then uh, good old Chicago. But we'll be pulling in the drive and unhook the truck and then unload this and try to give it a wash. It's covered in a layer of gravel. So. Well, we are back. It's the next day. I got it cleaned out uh, inside and out, gave it a wash. Our water is just really hard. I need to get a, not an RO, DI or whatever it is so that I don't get water spots on it and then polish it up. But it's better than it was for sure. <clears throat> I was checking out my inverters. I have had them programmed. You can program them so if the incoming voltage is too low or too high, they won't turn on and accept it. And when I was at Oshkosh, the voltage was at 124 and they didn't turn on. So they did exactly what they were supposed to. I guess I could have used the generator, but uh. I just, instead of reprogramming them, I just went through bypass. Um, and so I'm just checking it out here and they turned on and did what they're supposed to do. I figured it would, but I just wanted to try it one more time. So I've got the air compressor airing up before I turn it on. I know I, I don't have to, but I do it anyway. I like to have the tension in the belts and a whole bunch of air in there. It takes less for it to turn on, um, swept it out, wiped down all the countertops, uh, 
clean out the fridge and turn it off. I know some people say leave them on indefinitely, but um, I open the doors up and turn it off. Knock on wood, it's been fine. So I got her all ready to go sit. Um, like I said in some other videos, I don't really want to sell it, but I feel maybe I should. Um, I think we have one more trip to Kings Island and that's because my daughter's dancing out there. So we're gonna go stay there. Um, so I don't know if you're interested, give me an email. Uh, otherwise I'll keep it. I just hate not to, not to drive it. Yeah, we dropped the bus off and came to clean up our little free pantry. The door got broken off and somebody dumped a whole bunch of crap inside. So gonna get this cleaned up. Got it finished. So crazy ending to a camper video, but we threw out all the expired stuff, made a new shelf, put a plexiglass door frame on so that I think the winds came through here before and it ripped the door open and blew it off and uh, repainted it, but looks pretty good. Oh, so one more thing I wanted to comment. Um, I made a video a little while back. It sounded like a good idea. You know, there's always some people, some viewers that are interested in the bus and uh, just wanted to see it, see what one's like, what's it ride like, stuff like that. So my thought was, you know, I've got like close to 1900 subscribers. You know, if 25% of them gave me a dollar, that would cover fuel to like anywhere. And I did that not because I need the money, but to see if there was any interest. And there were three people. So the people that donated, I really appreciate it. Um, the money will come back to you in October, I think. Um, so uh, that GoFundMe, they should be um, pushing that back to you guys. So I really appreciate it. And like I said, I just kind of did that to see if there was any interest before I spent, you know, my time and money on it. You know, I thought it'd be a good idea, but if three people uh, on the planet thought it would be interesting to watch, then um, I wasn't gonna mess with it. So just wanted to let you know that's coming back and uh, thank you. Well guys, I'm ending the video here. Uh, like I said, I don't really wanna sell the bus. Uh, we all really like it. We've just, this is our fourth year and we've gone to 33 states, probably logged 50, 60,000 miles and kind of run out of places to go. Uh, went to Oshkosh with my brother. That was awesome. Um, we're going to go to Kings Island because we have to. Uh, be nice to go s to some other places, but it's kind of I think they're losing interest and I just don't really want it to sit. Um, the bus is made to be run and enjoyed. So that's kind of the reason. Um, I'm afraid if I sell it, we only lasted about four months before we, we ended up getting another one. I'll never be able to get something like this one. I've just done, it's got such good bones uh, that, and I've done so much, uh, things to it that I don't think I'll be able to get another one like it. Got here. So like I was saying, I'm afraid if I sell it and we want another one, I, you know, I've got new tires on the front. The back tires are fine. The engine runs real well. All the fluids and belts have been changed. I've totally gone through the electrical. Generator runs fine. The Aqua Hot runs perfect. I've got new water pumps on it. The new steering wheel. I've got a way for us to sleep three comfortably. Um, everything works. And 
you know I've got that second air pump that runs on 24 volt. I've got new start batteries for the coach. I've got new batteries for the generator. I've got a battery tender for it. Um, I don't know, everything is perfect now. And I know if I get another one, it's, you know, there's always problems with it. There's stuff that needs to be done on this one too. You know, I can get a, a window or two that's been fogging up, but it's not leaking, it's not causing any problems, so I haven't replaced it. You know, the brakes, they work well. Do they need replaced? I don't know, they probably do, but everything, everything works well, so I don't know. Um, if you're interested in it, let me know. Um, I'll put an email in the description down below. Like I said, I hate to sell it, but if we're not going to use it, I'm not doing that coach any favors letting it sit in the storage unit. So, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, nobody's interested in it. We'll have at least another video or two coming up. Like I said, we've got Kings Island we're going to go to. And I'd like to take the kids to Kentucky Horse Park. They love horses. So, I think we'll go there. Other than that, I'm not real sure where we're going to go. Uh, don't really have anything planned. I got season football tickets, so that's going to get some weekends here, and uh, daughter's got dance, and it's going to get cold real quick, so I don't know if anybody's interested in it and they want to uh, grab it, uh, make me an offer. I've got an idea what I want, but it's probably too much money, so you're not going to make hurt my feelings. But uh, thanks for watching as always. We'll get some more videos on there and appreciate it.